Okay guys, welcome back to part two. Sorry it's split up, but I had to split up because the video is starting to get a little too long. So those were all the things you could do to clean it. Now we're gonna get into the actual technical parts. Those were the easy things. Now we're gonna get into the parts where you actually have to go into system settings to fix it. These were all the things you could fix with a toothbrush. Now it's to the part where you have to go into the system settings. So now we're gonna go into the system settings. Okay, let me turn the brightness up. There, now let's turn the lights out. Oh wow, way too bright. Okay. I don't know what's up with my camera, guys. I apologize if my camera is making all this. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, so now you're gonna slide the Joy Cons onto your Switch. And if you hear that click sound, then you have successfully cleaned out the contacts, like I told you before. Next, you're gonna wanna go into System Settings, go down to Controllers and Sensors. Now, you could try updating the controllers if they're not updated already, but mine already updated. So now you can calibrate the control sticks. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to click down on the thumbstick you want to fix. Then when you move it, this little thing on the screen is going to show you where the thumbstick is detecting movement. So when it shows, it shows that circle when you're moving the thumbstick. It should, so your thumbstick, if your thumbstick is working properly, it should be like this. You should be able to move a circle like this without any interference. That's how you know your thumbstick is working really good. Then you just go back. Try the left one, you do the same thing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Move it in a circle three times. If there's any flickering, that means you're gonna need to recalibrate your thumbsticks. But look, I'm not getting any flickering. No flickering, because sometimes if your thumbstick is not working very well, you'll be spinning it like this and it'll do this. Now, I'm doing this on purpose, but I'm just trying to show you what could happen. And it could happen to either Joy-Cons, but mine works perfectly. I'm just showing you what could happen. And sometimes you're moving your thumbstick and then you let go and that little circle is still being showed like that. That's how you know you have a problem. So then you're gonna go to the thumbstick of your choosing, left or right, boom. Then you're gonna press X. It's gonna ask you if you wanna recalibrate and you're gonna press yes. Then you're gonna follow the instructions. You're gonna move it in the direction that it tells you to. Then you're gonna spin it in circles three times, but I'm not gonna do it because mine worked perfectly fine. So that's all you do. You just press X, A and see, look, I'm starting to experience a little problem with it. This is what I was talking about earlier. So if you're still getting that problem, go back, press X and A again. Then you want to very gently press down on a thumbstick. You want to click it. Okay, let me turn the music off for a sec. So you're going to want, if you're going to want to click your thumbstick, then move it. And what you're going to want to do this time is very slowly move the thumbstick in the direction it wants you to. Don't do it fast. Just do it nice and slow. And then that should solve your problem. Because it solved my problem first time I ever did it. Now, if your Joy-Con, if your Joy-Cons are just freaking randomly disconnecting while you're playing, you can uh, disconnect the controllers. So what you do is you press A and you hold down X. 
but I'm not going to disconnect my controllers because the thing is, if you've calibrated your thumbsticks to where they work perfectly and then you disconnect your controllers, it's going to delete the entire calibration thing. So it's going to go back to being messed up. It's going to go back to being messed up as before. So you're going to want to disconnect them before you calibrate. And then after you disconnect them, so I'm not going to disconnect mine or else it's going to mess up the calibration, but just pretend that I disconnected them. Then you're going to go back. Oh, wait. Okay, you're going to want to take the Joy-Cons off before disconnecting. Sorry, I'm such an idiot. You want to take off your Joy-Cons before disconnecting. Ooh, okay. You take off your Joy-Cons before disconnecting. You hold down X. Now just pretend that I held down the button all the way. They'd be completely disconnected and they wouldn't be able to be used at all. They would be off and you wouldn't be able to use them. Now, after you disconnect them completely, you're going to want to turn your switch off. You're just going to want to keep holding down the power button. Just keep holding the power button for 45 seconds. Just hold the power button down for 45 seconds. I'll be back in 45 seconds. Okay, I'd say it's been about 45 seconds now, and then you're gonna release, you're gonna let go of the power button. Then you're just gonna wait 10 more seconds, then you're gonna press down on it again. Just click it this time, really quickly. And just let it turn on. It should boot up as normal. Then, since your Joy-Cons are not connected, you're gonna want to go to controllers. You're gonna do pair new controllers. And then remember, pretend that my Joy-Cons are disconnected. And then when you slide them on, it's gonna say paired. Click, and it's gonna say right Joy-Con paired. Do the same thing with the left one. Click and then it'll say left Joy-Con paired. Then you're gonna press done. You're gonna do change grip order. So that works. Now you're going to go back to system settings. Go down to controllers and sensors. Now let's test the thumbsticks. Okay, works good. Good. Okay. Now, that should salt. The wandering issue can also appear where if you're too far away from the console. But another weird thing is there have been instances where Nintendo Switches would just... The, they would, the Joy-Cons would wander even if they're not even five feet away. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set up my camera here. I'm going to go stand really far away and I'm going to test the thumbsticks to see if they still work. Okay, so I'm going to completely leave my bedroom. Okay, so I'm standing at my entranceway of my room. I'm clicking down on the right thumbstick. So far, there's no latency. I'm not experiencing any latency at all. Left thumbstick. No latency. Working perfectly fine. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to go f so far away that not even you guys should be able to hear me. So, I'm leaving. Now, I'm testing the thumbsticks. I'm testing the right thumbstick. I'm incredibly far away from the switch right now. I'm in a completely different room. Okay, and they still seem to work. Now, I'm going to do it behind a closed door. I'm going to be standing right outside my bedroom door with it closed to see if it still works. Okay, my bedroom door is closed and I'm testing the door. Yeah, they're working incredibly well. 
I mean, I didn't see or hear any latency. So I think that fixed it because I used to not be able to get that far away. It used to disconnect when I, they used to have issues from really, they used to disconnect from getting, a, from walking only five feet away, but it completely solved the issue, which was the whole point of this video. And I'm glad it worked. I really hope these, I really hope these work for you. These uh, little, my little ideas on how to fix it. You can also test the buttons, which if you have a good Bluetooth connection, then you can test the touch screen to see if your touch screen is messed up, but mine works perfectly fine. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope that it solved your issues because every time I do these things to my Switch, it always fixes them. And if you want my Nintendo Switch friend code, it's right here. 59860967684. You can friend me, send a friend request, and I'll accept it. And then possibly play a game with you in the future. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I really hope it solved your issues with your Joy-Cons. If you're experiencing the same issues with your Pro Controller, then just do everything. Just try cleaning out the thumbsticks, try blowing in them, try recalibrating the thumbsticks on the Pro Controller, completely disconnect the Pro Controller, and then reconnect it after booting your Switch up, and that should solve the issue. So everything I did these Joy-Cons, you could also try on your Pro Controller. But it seems to be the Joy-Cons that have these issues mostly, because they're two separate controllers connected to one console. So I hope that solved your issues, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comment section if this worked for you. And let me know if you have a really rare problem with your Switch, because I might be able to f help you tell you how to fix it. So anyway, guys, see you in the future. Oh, one other thing. If your Joy-Cons are getting this little bit of loose, wobbly movement, don't worry. I'm pretty sure they're not going to break off. I don't know what's up with my camera. This is a really old phone. If you got wobbly movement with your Joy-Con thumbsticks like this, don't worry. It happens to every controller. Over time and use, Joy-Cons, other controllers, all thumbsticks will get like that. So please like, comment, subscribe, guys. See you in the next video. Later.